Sword Heaven Iron Conspiracy is a CRPG title developed by the team that did Atom RPG, a cult classic in its own right. Atom RPG was a throwback to the classic Fallout games and it was quite a good game appreciated by hardcore CRPG fans. But this time, they have taken the fantasy route, a complete opposite to the modern post-apocalyptic setting while keeping the top-down look intact. Hi folks, welcome to Zinematic Gaming. I am Snake. Today's video is quite different as we are taking a look at Sword Heaven Iron Conspiracy and sharing our first impressions. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel as 93% of you are yet to do that. I'm watching you. The first time you open the game, you will notice the obvious, yes. You can see the game is very heavily influenced by classic Infinity Engine titles such as the original Baldur's Gate games and Icewind Dale series. Now, since it is a CRPG, let's talk about the character customization. The game offers fairly decent options and since the game is not released yet, maybe they will add more options as they go. The minute you open the game, you are greeted by the character customization screen and you can either play as male or female. It's your choice, of course. You have the option to choose either nobleman or bandit as your background. Then, business as usual, you will select your attributes. We went with a strength-based character. There are various skills to choose from, such as martial arts, crafting, medicine, persuasion, haggling, and there was an outdoormanship skill, which was the first time we saw that skill in a game. Select whichever skill suits your character. Then, you will have to choose your distinction from 9 different options. You can either be a level-headed leader or a brainy brain pool. Again, the choice is yours. Abilities will be available depending on what you selected previously and you will only get to choose one at first. Then, of course, comes the most important and interesting part of choosing how you look. There are decent options to choose from from haircuts to color, skin tone to beard. You have many options available and maybe yes. they will add more in the full release. And as seen in every CRPG, you can select your portrait. The voice options could be better and more. Currently, you can choose to have no voice or a noble's male voice and it's not very good at the moment. There are three different difficulties, easy, normal and hard. There is also the Iron Man mode. The game starts with you on a beach and you will start to talk with this lady. The dialogue options are good, but we'll have to see how much they affect the outcome later. Also, I love the look of the loot screen. Okay, let's talk about look and performance. We definitely love how the game looks. It gave us a quite a bit of nostalgia, but we are old and we love games from the original Baldur's Gate generation. So, this look might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I have to say this, even though it's inspired by the Infinity Engine, they have modernized the UI quite a bit. Coming to performance, we ran the game on a mid-high-end system. It's not the latest in the market, but it's not also a potato. And the game ran quite good. Maybe they will optimize the game more before full release. It's fluid, the controls are classic CRPG, we didn't find anything new and confusing. And sometimes, old is gold, as they say it. And it is one of those times. Coming to combat. Okay. Hmm. It's turn based. Personally, I prefer real time with pause. And if you are like me, fear not. The game features that too. When it comes to combat systems, context definitely matters. Sometimes only one system works. Sometimes both. And even if you don't like a particular system, some game make you appreciate it. The combat screen is modern, turn based, inspired and it is quite good. The animations are nice and we didn't find anything glitchy or weird behaviors. Your first combat encounter will be a Komodo-like creature. I guess that's a tutorial for the combat and you should be able to win that quite easily. Overall, what I'm saying without getting into the details is, if you like these games, if you have played these games, you will like the combat. But if you are new to this genre, the combat in this title will not make you a CRPG fan overnight. The world is vast with unique NPCs and quests offer multiple solutions and they reward exploration which is nice. The world is divided like other CRPGs. If you want to enter the next map, you have to go through a little loading screen. But 
we did not experience that more than 5 seconds. The game encourages exploration. You will spend countless hours role playing and exploring. As I said, I quite like the roots of the game and its art direction. The forests are nice and green, so that's a plus. Also, I would like to mention that the general music of the game is quite good, but the combat music is not that up to the mark. And that's it for today. Our first impression of Sword Heaven Iron Conspiracy. Check out the game on Steam. If you like it, you can play the demo now. And please let us know what you think. We will see you soon. Bye.